Hey, what up YouTube? Um, I'm avoiding cleaning and removing all my tanks, so I figured I'd do this, uh, you know, start off uh, with something good, positive energy. So I want to go ahead and enter this contest. Uh, it's called the Severum. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly how you say your name. Uh, you know, by the way, people uh, kind of mess up my name. GM is fine. You know, it's GM Love 9, but GM works too. You know, I know some people are like, uh, yeah, uh, you know, they try to read the name out. I totally understand. Um, but anyways, he uh, basically wanted to know what your favorite angelfish and why. And, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about angelfish. I've had just about, just about every angelfish. I think the only ones I haven't had are the new ones. And that's uh, Paraiba and Panoy. I'm not a super fan of them, but, you know, that's me. Um... I like blacks. Black has been one of my favorites. If it wasn't black, um, if you check out my older videos, I had platinums. Uh, but my my favorite, all time favorite of all favorites, had to be a dark marble pair. I might have a video up, so you'd have to check the history. And the reason they were my favorite pair, they were veil tail. I don't like standard. Uh, that's my opinion. I like when they have some decent fins and they look good. Uh, I like Veil. Um, I like these. These these are the new ones. Um, they came out of a blue koi marble and a gold marble pearl scale. So I mean, that's my thought. Uh, the longest I've had an angel fish, which someone's gonna laugh at me, has been uh, three years actually. When I first got my 55, <laughs> I had a tank full of angel fish. I had a gold marble, a black, a smoky. Uh, blue torque. Um, I mean, I had just about every single different angelfish. I wasn't trying to breed them though. I had the temperature at like 78, and you know, it's just kind of like this tank, you know, angelfish, not angelfish, disc is kicking ass. It was just a tank, just a basically a show tank, and then I got into breeding after I realized you can breed them, and it wasn't that hard. Um, I think an important thing that I want to mention about angelfish is they're not hard to keep as much as people make them out to be. If you buy them sick and dead from Petco and PetSmart, they're going to be hard to keep. But if you buy them, you know, from a breeder or you buy them from someone that has healthy fish, they're going to be okay. So, but for right now, I'm just, I'm not really just focused on breeding. I've been really focused on the plants. But, um, they usually live in a 55. Uh, I usually keep five to six of them. I've kept more than five and six. I mean, adults, I've only kept five and six. Eight's been the most I've kept in a 55, and they get water changes quite a bit. Sorry the tank's dirty, people. Um, but, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, for you guys out there that don't know a whole lot about angelfish, there's a lot of information out there. And, I mean, some people have said, you know, could you mention, you know, could you mention how you pick your males and your females? Could you mention, you know, and there, there's so much information. I mean, I can make a channel just on angelfish, and I know there's a bunch of people that do, but... Um, my best way of picking an angelfish is, you know, I pick them out when they're like itty bitty, like pea size. And at pea size, I'm like, I like your body, I like some of the colors you're showing, and I like your fins. Um, like these might be super bell. Like, by the way, they're all the same age. That's why I said they might be super bell. Check out those fins on the sides. But um, when I get to that point, I pick about 30 or so. And from those 30, I usually let someone that has nothing, has no idea about any angelfish come in. And then I narrow it down to like 20. And then from those 20, I let someone come in and say, hey, I really like that one because of, you know, this or that. I mean, that, that right there to me is gorgeous, you know. So, I mean, I automatically pick the ones I want to keep, keep. But um, I've had to cut some of their fins from time to time. I don't know, I'm just throwing that information out there because, I mean, it was looped down. or This one's the one I had to cut. But look, the top one was messed up and I had to snip it. When I snipped it, I made it straight. Wouldn't recommend it. It's hard to do and it's not fun. Uh, I know some breeders snip their fins so that they can get more fish in a tank. That's not cool. I don't think it's cool. Uh, I don't know. I think I should win because it'd be cool. <laughs> Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to win a contest. So, I mean, one of the reasons I'm doing this contest is because I don't want to clean. 
and he messaged me about the contest and I think he was playing with me because he said it was up and I never saw it. I'm just messing with you, man. But, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'd have to say right now, my favorite pair is still a Marvel pair. Uh, there's a lot of jeans out there. The Platinum pair, he has, he has a Platinum in his tank. It's a pretty sexy fish, too. But, the thing with it is you almost just have to have a black background. And just black. Because it looks like, it makes the fish pop more. Um... I feel if you have like a, like for example, if I had my black angel fish in here, you can't see him very well. If I had koi, um, you know, they'd look a little bit orange, you know, they'd look less orange than this, but they'd pop out more. So I think my combination for what I'm doing with the plants I have and everything looks really good. Questions, comment, subscribe, wish me luck on the contest. I mean, if all else fails, I don't care because I entered the contest and thank you for letting me know about the contest. Um... You know, for you people that know nothing about angelfish, give them a try. They're pretty simple fish. They're good fish. You know, you need at least a 20. I wouldn't recommend anything less. A 10-gallon, I've seen some people in a 10-gallon. I don't think it's fair to the fish because, I mean, you got to realize you put that, little, the, that thing in a 10-gallon, it's not going to get to its full potential. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.